फॉरवर्ड बैकवर्ड रोटेट In this video of Fun with IoT series, we are going to make a voice control boat. For this, I will be needing a boat. I have ordered this online. I need a zero PCB. This is a Node MCU module, and I will be using this for wireless communication. These are the male and female bug scripts. Here I have these two L293 motor drivers, and each of them will be used to control two motors. This is LM7805. It is a five volt converter. These are the two toggle switches, and I will be needing some nine volt batteries. I have cut the PCB into two halves because I am needing only this much. And here I have L293 ICs with their base. I have also cut down these uh, female bug strips in order to make the base for this Node MCU. Here I have. Four pairs of male pins, and these will be used to connect the motors to the motor drivers. Now let's place these all the components over this PCB board. Now all the components have been placed over this PCB. Now it's time to solder it. Now we have completed the circuit and uh, I have also connected the power supply here. So these two batteries which are connected uh, in series and they are used to power up these ICs and this node MCU module. Now these two 9 volt batteries are connected to each of the two L293 drivers to power up these motors. Now I need to uh, connect these female strips in these wires so that I can connect it to these male pins here. Now I have connected these female strips here. So let's connect it to the circuit, okay. And for this, we will be needing the MQTT broker to control it from anywhere. And uh, to know more about the MQTT broker, you can 
watch one of our videos on home automation and in that video we were controlling the uh, my rooms led bulb using google voice assistant okay so let's create a adafruit io account first so in google type adafruit io go to io.adafruit.com as i have already created an account and i am already logged in so go to dashboards create a new dashboard okay my okay now go to feeds you need to create a new feed because the commands uh, you will be sending through the google voice assistant will be published here so you need to create a feed first okay create it now go to dashboard again and open the dashboard you created from here create a new block okay so i will be using this toggle one and attach this block to the feed you created okay so i am using this toggle block for forward and backward okay and this one was for forward and this is for backward okay create block okay but i need one more command that is rotate so i will create one more block toggle block okay rotate status and rotate and no rotate okay now these two blocks have been created successfully Okay, so we have set up our account on Adafruit IO. Now let's move to create an account on Android smartphone. Now in your Android smartphone, you need to download an app IFTTT. So I have installed it earlier. Click on it, and you need to log in into it with the same email ID you use in uh, IO dot Adafruit Cloud. Okay. After logging in. Click on create. Okay, so firstly, I will create uh, the block for forward command. Click on if this. So the service I am going to use is Google Assistant. Okay, simple phrase. We need to connect it first. Okay, now Google Assistant is connected. Okay, so enter the text you want to say as a command to move the board forward. So I'm using simple forward command for this, and one additional go command. Now enter the response you want the Google Assistant to say in return. Okay, so I'm keeping it moving forward. The language I'm going to use is English. Click on continue. Okay. Click on then block. And I want this these commands by Google Assistant to be published to Adafruit Cloud. So send data to you first. You need to connect it to your Adafruit Cloud. Okay. Okay. Authorize it. Okay, now it has connected. Now select the feed you created in the cloud. Okay, 
so it was control car for me and the data you want to publish to the feed so it is forward continue okay Okay, finish. Got it. Now uh, we are we have done with the we are done with the one command. Similarly, here in this free plan of five triple T, we have uh, we are getting only three applets. Okay, so I can use only three commands. So I will be using the forward, backward, and rotate command. So as you made the forward block. Similarly, we will make the blocks for backward, backward and rotate. I have completed the code. So this is the code and you need to change certain things like in WLAN SSID, your hotspot SSID will come here and you need to enter the password of your hotspot here. Also in AIO username, you need to uh, fill your username here. Okay, the username uh, you chose when creating an account in Adafruit IO cloud and here is the AIO key so you can get it from here this is io.adafruit.com and I have logged in so click on my key and from here you can get your username and from here you can get your AIO key okay and uh, here when you are creating a subscriber so you need to uh, enter your feed name here okay the path of your feed so it is slash feed slash your feed name now we are done with the coding part so it's time to upload the code in the node mcu okay Okay, as the code has been successfully uploaded, now I'm going to place all these things properly in this port. Now it's time to test it. Forward. Backward. Rotate. Okay, it's working fine. 